Hello folks, Junkie Rock 13 here. Everything vaping related, Junkie Rock 13. My real name is Ross Sanders, and today we're taking a look at a fully mechanical device from Super T Manufacturing. This is the Precise Simplicity. It is a 14500 battery mod. Um, right now I do have a mini Hellfire on top of it, looking rather nice. Um, it is made of stainless steel and a little brass locking ring. We're going to take a close look at it and see what I think. Let's get right to it, folks. Okay, folks, so here is the close up of the precise simplicity. Here is a nice little velvet bag that collects all the lint possible. But the precise simplicity comes in this nice little bag, and there it is. rather small device just a size comparison next to an ego twist 1100 okay so you can tell the diameter all right and the height is rather stealthy so in my hand rather covers up pretty nicely okay so this is a 14 500 device which is folks don't know what a 14 500 is it's basically the same size of a double A battery but you cannot use double A alkaline batteries in this device please please only use AWIMR or EFAST or whatever the manufacturer suggests for that device that is the battery that you should be using so the precise simplicity is a 510 connection device the top cap does come off and this is how you will put your battery in the 510 connection is a permanent fixtured center post so are you not going to be able to push it up and down slide it up and down for your atomizer or your tank it is where it is and it's staying where it is. Um, that could be a big negative for a lot of people. The threading on this, just like every other Super T manufacturing device, is very, very well machined. Um, the whole device is well machined. Um, you can see there are little grooves right here so if you do have a tank that will fit flush on there you can get some air movement into that 510 connection and as for the tube now the tube is not a smooth finished tube this is a little dental tool and I'm gonna actually run it lightly across it without scratching it on this side because I don't want to put the point on there I want you to hear that so it is grooved all the way down the tube I don't think 
think you're going to be able to see that. Let me try to focus in a little better. I doubt that's going to happen, but I can try. And then we have a brass locking ring right here, which is very nice. And the switch. You notice that there is a P for the precise on the bottom very well machined and it's not a straight tube it actually has like a little indentation right in here okay so I'm gonna take apart the switch and just show you what the switch is all about so down at the base right there you'll notice that there is a flathead screw down there so just take your flathead screwdriver put it down there Hold the switch so it don't turn, and just unscrew it. Whoop! And there goes the switch and the spring. So let me get the spring, and I will be right back. Okay, so there's the spring. All right. So now with the switch fully disassembled. Here is your little button piece. Now, kind of unique machining on this because there's actually little flat spots if you can see them. There's a flat spot right there. And on the other side, if you wanted to hold a wrench on there of some sorts to tighten up this post that holds it on on the inside and the spring which is one of my negatives on this device is very very light okay this spring squeezes very extremely easy okay and down at the bottom down here I'm going to get it out because I want to show you. Maybe I won't. Oh, wait a minute. What am I thinking? No, oh, there's the brass ring totally taken off. And there we go. The O ring at the bottom of the device where the battery will sit on so it's not making connection with the post that will be pushing into the battery is right here. They also send you an extra post and a different size um, o-ring so a little thicker o-ring if you wanted to put a different size o-ring in the base of there okay and the other let me see the other post that comes with it I believe is the same size but I could be mistaken I didn't look at it exactly. It's actually a different size. So there is two different sizes for your post. Let me just focus in on that. OK. 
Okay. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the difference. But they are a little different sizes. Okay. A little bit longer. All right. So I will take the one that I didn't have in it because it was working fine. And I'll leave this off to the side. All right. So I'll reassemble this by putting in the brass ring, which is nicely threaded onto there. Put the O-ring down in there. Into the bottom. And I'm gonna drop this screw down into the bottom. It should be protruding out right there. The spring will go inside the switch and I will just push it down like that and tighten up the screw as long as I can see it. which is fully assembled. So now if you see me just pushing this in, it's very light. With a battery in there, push down that O-ring, make sure it's down all the way. Okay. And the top cap back on the device. So smooth. Threading is beautiful. With nothing on the device, the switch does not activate. Very lightly, it does not activate. But with, let's say, a spheroid on it, right here. Once I put that on it, it fully activates. You can hear it sizzling. But that is just something that needs to be uh, replaced with a heavier spring. So there is the close up of the precise simplicity. Okay, so there you have the close-up of the precise simplicity. Now, this device has been a very solid uh, made device. Now, Super T Manufacturing is well known for their precise plus line. Um, now they have the Shockwave, uh, which is not too new, but it's a big 26, uh, 650 device. Um, really nice. And there's also the ELA, which is a really nice machine device. Um, I'll probably be picking one of those up soon. This is a inexpensive 14500 mechanical device um, under a hundred bucks now the machining is by far um, really 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 nice um, the, the couple complaints that I do have about this device is the uh, positive post and the 510 connection in here being that it's permanent <clears throat> it's not able to be adjusted. That alone um, is, a, is a big negative in my book because you can't 
output a device totally flush. Now this is the mini Hellfire and there is a little gap right there. Now a lot of times a lot of people that won't bother um, but I like a nice clean look on a device. Um, it doesn't affect the way it performs it's just the aesthetics the way it looks. The other negative that I do have is is some people might think of this as a positive the easy spring or the really light spring that's in this switch if you do not put the locking ring in place um, and you set this down on something with anything on top it's gonna fire okay that spring is really really light and this is only a 14500 mod we have 18650 mods that have um, springs in it where you can set them down and they won't fire so you can tell how light this spring is I'm sure there will be a spring that we can replace it with uh, I just haven't looked into it yet but those are the two negatives that I have found with this device um, I love <laughs> the little grooves in it it's kind of feels cool um, gives you that little um, when you run your fingernail down it goes <laughs> you know what I mean it's pretty cool I like that um, nice looking device looks really nice with the uh, mini Hellfire on it um, in my opinion if you're looking for a 14500 uh, device a smaller mechanical mod this is a decent device um, very nice looking very classy nice and clean um, are there other 14500 mods out there of course uh, I have a Sturm mod that I really enjoy and that does have an adjustable pin and the switch I can set it down and it don't fire um, but I'm not trying to compare it to the stir mod or anything and the stir mod is telescopic also but the precise simplicity is a decent looking mechanical device let me give it a quick vape and uh, call the video all right like I said this is the mini Hellfire on here this is the newer version of the mini Hellfire with the hourglass and the reduced um, top cap so uh, and I have a three wrap coil so I'm getting around 0.8 um, excuse me 0.7 ohm resistant and what do I have in here I have some panino juice in here and a freshly charged 14500 battery. <clears throat> um, the device fires all the time. No misfires at all. It's a nice little PV. I like it solid really nice uh, the one the one big positive about this is the machining anything that's coming out of super t is usually machined really really well so if you want to check one of these precise simplicities out i will leave a link in the description to super t manufacturing um be kind to one another and keep on vaping everybody take care